The day is here. It's what these students have been working toward, Career Signing Day. 27 students signed a certificate of intent to pursue a career as a professional in the skilled trades. It's definitely something different. It's cool to actually be involved when th that's what this school is all about. So being able to sign with our job instead of an actual college is definitely awesome. A proud moment for them, their family and friends, and for their new employers. We're very proud of our program here. I like to think it permeates all through the building at all grade levels. The younger kids come in and see what the older kids are doing, and, and that's a goal for them. The young men and women will work in a number of trades, including carpentry, auto collision, plumbing, mechanical design, and engineering. These students have a leg up financially because at 18, they're already setting out on their careers. These trades are well-paying career fields, and our students who go into these trades uh, are starting their career uh, graduations on the, the last day of school is the 18th. Our kids are starting those careers really on the 19th of June. One of the employers in attendance taking on a new employee knows the success of this program. He's a 1996 graduate of Oliver Wolcott Tech School. What he learned here set him on a path in the trades, and he's never looked back. Not everybody could be a doctor or lawyer. We still need tool makers, machinists, plumbers, carpenters. We still need them all. You know, a couple years ago, everybody went to college. And nobody went to the trades. Now look at us. We're hurting. <laughs> Go to school. Well, call me. It's a good feeling knowing right out of high school you have a skill that people need immediately. A lot of it is hands-on. I learned how to use a lot of the equipment that I use in work. Uh, basic things like a digital multimeter, a scope meter. I learned how to use a lot of that here in school and I was able to take that knowledge with me to work. Hats off to all the students who signed under their futures on this very special day. Ann Nyberg, News 8.